so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We're asked to determine any horizontal asymptotes of the given three rational functions. For these three examples, we'll be using a shortcut to determine the horizontal asymptotes, and this method involves analyzing the degree of the numerator and denominator to determine any horizontal asymptotes. And when determining horizontal asymptotes, we're actually determining the end behavior of the functions, so we'll also be recording the end behavior down here below. When analyzing the degree, of the numerator and denominator of a rational function, there are three possibilities. First, if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote will always be y equals zero. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote will be y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. And the last possibility is, the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. If this is the case, there is no horizontal asymptote. Now let's take a look at each case. Looking at our first function, notice how the numerator is degree two and the denominator is degree three. And since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote will be y equals zero. Now the reason it's y equals zero because if we consider, let's say, x approaching positive infinity, notice how the denominator is going to increase faster because it's raised to the third power. So if we have a fraction where the denominator is increasing faster, the function value will approach zero. And the same is true as x approaches negative infinity. So if we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero, then our end behavior will be, as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches zero and as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches zero. Let's verify this graphically. Well, the horizontal line y equals zero would be the x-axis. Well, if we're on the function approaching positive infinity or moving right, notice how the function values are approaching zero to the right. And as we move left, or as x approaches negative infinity, notice how the function values are approaching zero to the left as well. So this verifies our answer. And now for the next function, notice how the degree of the numerator is three and the degree of the denominator is two. If the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there are no horizontal asymptotes. To try to understand why, let's consider x approaching positive infinity. First notice both the numerator and denominator would be positive, but because the numerator has a higher degree, it's increasing faster. So if the numerator is increasing faster than the denominator, the function value is going to approach positive infinity. So we can say as x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. And then when x approaches negative infinity, because the degree is odd here, the numerator would be negative and the denominator would be positive. Therefore, the function value would approach negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. And again, let's verify this graphically. Notice if we're on the function moving toward the right, or as x approaches positive infinity, the function values are increasing without bound, and therefore f of x is approaching positive infinity. And as we move left on the function, or as x approaches negative infinity, the function is moving downward without bound, and therefore f of x is approaching negative infinity. So this verifies our second answer. Now let's take a look at the last example. Notice in this case, the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same. They're both degree three. When this is the case, the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. The leading coefficient here is two. The leading coefficient of the denominator is one. Two divided by one is two. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y equals two. To try to understand this, Notice as x approaches positive infinity, the numerator and denominator are getting larger and larger, but because of this two here, the numerator is always gonna be approximately twice as large as the denominator, 
and therefore this ratio is going to approach the value of positive two. So if we have a horizontal asymptote of two, the end behavior in both cases will be f of x approaching positive two. Let's go ahead and verify this last example. Here's the horizontal line y equals two. Notice as we move right or as x approaches positive infinity, the function value approaches two. And as we move left, or as x approaches negative infinity, the function values also approach positive two. And that'll do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.